What's up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Platinum Ranking. Um, our last episode for the year, and we are going to discuss our four favourite games that released in 2022. Instead of debating it this time, um, like we would normally do, we've decided we're just going to list our four because they were so wildly different, I think. Trying to include four might be difficult. Plus, we've argued enough this year, man. Let's go out on the <laughs> I'm sorry for all the times we argued. Let's just discuss with love. <laughs> Also, last last part one is uh, deserve the platinum from last week's episode. What? Yeah, well, are... eat shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I put it in the edit. So what can you do? Yeah. Um, well. What are your four games of the year? So I just I want to preface this with um, just uh, just 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 a quick statement. There's a few games that probably should be on this list, but I'm not putting them on there because we've spoken about them enough. For example, yeah. Last of Us, God of War. They're not going on my list because... See, I personally don't think Last of Us belongs there because it's a remake anyway. Uh, not a remake, so a remaster. So it, didn't, yeah, it came for, out this year, but... And f for me, though, it, mm. although it came out this year, it's also the first time I played it, so it kind of maybe deserves... Oh, okay, there's an argument for it to be on my list. But anyway, they're not going on there because we've spoken about them enough. You guys know that we love them anyway. So on my list, I've got Sifu, which was fantastic. I still haven't finished it, but it's amazing to play. The Star Wars Saga... No. Okay. I should probably put them in order, right? Um, that would okay. help for the whole ranking concept. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in my bronze, I've got Marvel Snap. Mm -hmm. So good. Playing it every day. I'm actually going to get the new season pass today because I got paid. You're still on that grind, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I got paid today. So I'm going to get the season on pass. Oh, nice. Yeah, I get paid on weird day. I get paid on the 11th no matter what. Oh, um, okay, fair enough. Second, so silver, I'm going to put the quarry because one, it, I, I don't really like horror games, but it's very, very good. Uh, the the acting's brilliant. The story is fun. I like werewolves and um, it's got replayability as well. Like I've played it probably one and a half times. I kind of dropped off because I'm playing it with Jordan. So it's like, you know, find the time to do it and when we want to do it. So it's like, yeah, I'll play it again and again and again. Um, then I'm going to put Star Wars Saga. Um, the it's, Lego it's, game. Huh? The Lego game, Star Wars... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lego, Star Wars, Skywalker Saga. <laughs> Whatever yeah, it's fucking called. Yeah, yeah. Fucking long name. <laughs> yeah, it's a stupid name as well. But yeah, that came out this year and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And um, I want to go back and finish it. Um, it's just a big, big kind of step to to kind of finish it off properly um so that's my silver nope that's my gold <laughs> and then platinum my big platinum is sifu um i have been wanting this game ever since it came out i only got it a couple of weeks ago um because in my head i was like i can't justify getting it because it's too expensive for what it is it's only a quick game you know it's 35 quid still blah 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 and uh, the other day I went, fuck it, I'm doing it. And so I did it. And it's it's amazing. And I think everyone should play it. Um, and yeah, that's it. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum. You know, What's you yours, say, Jack? You say, well, before that, you say Sky Wars. Sky Wars? Fuck it. Sky Wars, Star Skywalker, Wars, Luke, Skywalker, Saga. Skywalker, Luke, Luke, and Boba <laughs> and um, Indiana Jones. Um, I'm starting to get the feelings, you know, of like it's time to go back for the platinum. Yeah, not 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 like in a two week sitting. Slowly, still, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not rushing that. But like, I'm starting to get the feelings. Like, okay, let's install it. Let's play maybe an hour just to get back into it. And like, I'm, yeah, I'm starting to get to that point. Where yeah, I'm yeah, just go, baby. Yeah, it's got to be done. But I've got that. I've got that fucking red dead looming over me. Yes, you do. Um, it's not fair. So, well, just just be a man and do it. I'm buying it tomorrow, or maybe today. Oh, red dead. I don't, I don't have it. You traded it in knowing that you had to buy it back for the Platinum. Yeah, I thought it'd take me a long time to get to Platinum 100, but it didn't. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to rebuy it. It's only like 12 quid, it's fine. It might be in the sale somewhere. Yeah, true. On PlayStation Store or something. I'm nearly um, there. So my bronze is the quarry. I'm, nice. I'm with you. I, uh, I don't really do horror. Just not because I'm a scared little bitch. So maybe one could make an argument for that. It's just those I'd games say just so. never. No, I'm not. I genuinely I love <laughs> doing horror films because I'm so edgy and broken inside. <laughs> um, 
No, but I really like um, those kind of games like the Until Dawns and the Dark Pictures. And yeah, mm. Macquarie was just another step up. Um, and it was nice because we hadn't had a full game like that from those developers since Until Dawn, right? Because the Dark Anthology is like a couple of hours experience. Yeah. Um, so They're nice more like short stories, game. aren't they? As opposed to a, mm. an adventure. Yeah. And I thought the vibe was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I remember just binging that game. So yeah, I love that game. It was, uh, it's well worth its bronze. Mm -hmm. My silver is God of War Ragnarok. Nice. I, uh, what? I that low? Uh, uh, there you go. That's what I was waiting for. I mean... It's silver. It's just... It's a fantastic yeah. game. I love it. It's just the other two I've got better experiences with, I think. Um, okay. But yeah, a fantastic okay. game. A worthy entry into this Norse uh, duology. Um it's weird, I haven't really gone back to it since completing it. I think it's because I still can't be bothered to find out if my glitch is um, fucking me from getting the platinum. I uh, They don't, They released like a big 3.0 patch or something the other day and I jumped in and that quest is still broken for me. Mm. And maybe it doesn't impact the platinum. It doesn't I don't think it does. The, platinum. But the more I thought about it, though, the more it's like, do I want to go back and do this? Just because the game's fantastic, but it's got the problem I had with um, Fallen Order which is all that backtracking through areas you've already been to. I just, I'm not sure I can be fucking bothered. <laughs> I don't know. So that one's, a, it's an unknown if I'll platinum that, but still fantastic game. You should, it's, it's a fun platinum. You got it, have you? Yeah, I got it Friday night. Ah, fair enough. When you said you had finished it, I thought you meant like, I don't know why. I thought you meant you finished <laughs> the game, but I already knew you had. Oh no, I, I finished it. <laughs> yeah, finished it. Time to trade it in. 100% baby. Um, my gold is going to be, I know I'm going to get some stick for this, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And I know it's crazy to say a COD game on the top games of the year, but for me it's more about the experience I'm having with it necessarily than, like, the single player is great, but it's, it's you know, it's COD single player. I don't think it does mm -hmm. anything crazy. That I mean, it tries to do some cool new stuff, but, you know. Um, but I'm just have you, have you played the campaign? Modern. Sorry to interrupt. Have oh, you, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. you played it, yeah? Played okay, it, cool. I completed it before the full game came out. Oh, okay. Because they released the single player like a weekend early or something like that. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm having so much fun with that multiplayer and particularly Warzone, which I guess you could say is its own separate game, but it's included. I don't know. It just depends how you want to view things. Kind of goes hand but in hand, the, really, doesn't the it? The whole COD experience I'm very much enjoying. So I'm putting it so high for the experience, not necessarily because I think it's a better game than all the other things. I'm just... My personal experiences for best gaming experiences, games of the year, mm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think that's what this is is really looking at, is, is your personal experiences. Because mm. objectively, we could look at games and look at sales and look at, you know, average reviews or whatever, but... No, I think it's your experiences of, and if it's if it's COD above God of War, then that's that. I mean, I like the the new COD was good. I enjoyed it. Mm. I say I haven't played it, but I mean I've played the beta and Warzone, so you know I can kind of get an idea. And the uh, my p -p 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 platinum is I'm going to right the wrongs of the Game Awards and Jeff Keighley, and give it to Horizon Forbidden West, the best game of twenty twenty two. Full the stop, best game. Exclamation mark. Upside down. Question mark. Dash dash dot dot. The best. Mm. The I'm not sure. I can. Best game of the year. <laughs> I'm not sure I can and I'm sit not, here and agree I'm with you not on that even one. But... Being high... oh, well, I'm not asking you to, am I, bitch boy? I'm telling you, <laughs> it is my best game of the year. And I'm not just being hyperbolic because the game awards did it dirty. I genuinely, genuinely, in all my heart, love that game, and I think it's the. Uh, best game I've played this year. Really? Easily. Without question. Why though? I'm really I'm really interested into I think to why. The, I think the Not story, that I disagree incredible. entirely, but Yeah, I mean I think the story is incredible. I think the mm. action is incredible. I think they did a lot of good work with the side stories to make those just as impactful. I think the world's one of the most beautiful worlds we've been in in this year in gaming. Um <laughs> It was the most compelling. It was a fun platinum. I really enjoyed all the side stuff, the mechanics, the loot grind. It all just worked for me. Whereas, like, you take something like God of War, which I also love. I don't give a shit about the loot grind in that game. Like, it's yeah. just like, okay, oh, yeah, I'll get a, 
a better armor type. I've been using the same armor for the last 20 hours. I don't care. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I did as well. I got yeah. a good armor and I left it. And I spent multiple hours in that photo mode in uh, Horizon Forbidden West. It is, I just loved it. And I think it, what helps me is I loved Horizon Zero Dawn. And then I went back and replay, tried to replay at one point and it just wasn't the right time in my life. And I actually walked away from the replay being like, I got mm. two hours in. It's like, maybe I, maybe I don't like these games. Um, so if you remember, I wasn't dead set on getting Forbidden West. Yeah. Um, and I, and I kind of had the realizations like, no, I actually do like these games. I was just not in the great place for it. Um, so when I picked up for Forbidden West on a whim, I went down to game to get a controller. <laughs> and I didn't have the one I wanted in stock. I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to buy Horizon Forbidden West then while I'm here. Um, Might as well. Like completely Might as well. unexpected as well. Wasn't my plan for the day kind of thing. Took me off guard. And then, yeah, just binged the shit out of that game. And... I loved it. Yeah, because I think I think you got it first, didn't you? As well, you got it before me, and you were like, mm. "Did you recommend it to me?" Because I was I, I was on the fence it. as well. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, well, it was almost a year ago now. Yeah, but yeah, that's my list. No, it's, it's good. Bad. I think I it's think a good list. Got, yeah, this is why I don't think we could have debated it because the only crossover there was Quarry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think they can find. I mean, I could have put the other games apart from COD in there in my list, but I don't know. We definitely played different games, and I think that's good. Um, but yeah, no, that's a good list. As is yours. Well, that is our list for the best games of 2022. Let us know yours in the comments. Tell us why I'm wrong. Tell Mark why he's wrong. And just say Horizon Forbidden West is the best game of the year because you all know it makes sense. <laughs> and until next time. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that other shit YouTubers say to annoy you. Tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your mum Mark says hi. And uh, have a platinum day. <laughs>